All right, what's up guys? It's Apollo here and are you ready for another juicy battle in Total War Rome 2? This is another ancient D-Day beach landing scenario. Now we did one of these not too long ago. It was actually really epic. It was a really close battle, pretty intense. There's a link to it down below in the video description if you want to watch it. If you haven't, you should because uh, it's awesome. Uh, but this scenario is going to be even better it's bigger it's badder it's mean this is this is more like a d-day beach landing because you've got the nice strong stone walls you get arrow towers like almost like mg nest just firing down you got archers who can use the stone walls you've got this steep hill that the uh the invaders are gonna have to climb to try to take this position it's gonna be intense and the theme here is the persians Attacking the Spartans. I mean, that's a pretty sick theme. This is just gonna be a sick battle and I tell you what guys It's sick. It is amazing and it is just a gorgeous battle and speaking of gorgeous today's sponsor is Displate do you have a bare, disgusting wall that needs some beauty? Well, thanks to Displate's posters, you can change that. Oh, did I mention that these are metal posters? Yeah, that's right. No more rips, wrinkles, or holes. These are well-made posters that are super easy to install. Simply clean the wall, add a protective leaf, stick the magnet on, and hang your Displate poster. No need for hammers and nails. Displate has a huge catalog of beautiful artwork ranging from gorgeous landscapes historical images, city maps, video games, and so much more. But my personal favorite is the Kingdom Come Deliverance Collection. We all know that Kingdom Come is one of the most beautiful games ever created, and now you can have that beauty on your very own walls. If you look in the video description, there is a link that will take you to my personal collection of my favorite posters. And even better yet, there is a personal discount code just for my viewers, Simply use pixelated15 at checkout. So fix that bare, disgusting wall and get yourself a beautiful display metal poster. And to add to that video, they also have some really cool, like, ancient history posters. Like, this Spartan one right here is just really sick. I really like this one. And they also have a Caesar one. So they do have a huge, like, different, like, a huge catalog of different... Uh, art styles and, and topics and themes of these posters. It's really cool. So uh, yeah, definitely again link in the video description check that out So uh, to make this scenario work, this is pretty funny right here uh, And I, I want to explain I know this is I'm delaying the battle you want to get straight to the battle But hang on let me explain this because this is kind of funny the way we made this scenario work is that we pretty much had to break multiplayer we just broke it to make this scenario work because we've got factions from three different campaign types in Rome 2. We have the Sassanids or you know we well the Persians who are represented by the Sassanids who are from Empire Divided. So we've got four full armies of these guys, all right? Then we have two different Spartan types. We've got Sparta from the Wrath of Sparta and then we have Sparta from the Grand Campaign. So we've got different factions from different campaign types. Three different campaigns. It's insane. But it, but the, but wait, there's more, all right? Uh, you see these onagers over here? Did you guys know that defending factions can't bring, like, heavy artillery to their defense? Like, when it's a walled settlement? But the African factions can. And we were able to glitch units into the Spartan roster so we could bring African onagers to make the battle that much more epic. Okay, is that not cool or what? Do I not deliver delicious epic battles, guys? I mean, I, I break Rome too just for these things to work. Now, I know how to do all of this. I know how to glitch out the game to be able to do this and I am thinking about making a video uh, explaining how to glitch in units to your roster how to glitch in factions from different campaign uh, you know different campaigns in Rome 2 only to educate you guys in case someone does it to you so if you think I should let me know if you feel like you know what Apollo not everybody watches you which is true and if they get on Rome 2 they you know you just taught a bunch of people how to glitch out the game and it and 
you know, this person has no idea. Because, for example, what you could do, you know how the Romans have mercenary Syrian archers? Well, you can only bring three of them, but if you glitch in the Syrian archers from the Seleucids, you could have four of them. And that's a really subtle change that most people won't pick up on, even people who know about the glitch. So, I don't know if I should show you these glitches because I don't want you to abuse it. It's more of like, you know, a hacker learning to hack so he can, you know, go after bad people or be paid to hack a business to just see if they have any like weak spots in their security or whatever. Uh, it's kind of like doing it for the good. Just let me know down below and I'll get a general idea of how you feel about that. But anyways, are you guys ready for this battle? Let's do it. So the rules here is that the Spartan players, there's four Spartan players. We can only bring 10 units each and the Persians, AKA, AKA the Sassanids can only bring, or they could bring as many as they want. So that is the rules. That's pretty much it. And we're going to do this epic, like, tiered defense over here. It's going to be pretty sick. Okay, the invasion is underway. And here comes the Persians. And you can see the artillery. This is why we glitched out the game for artillery. It just looks so epic. I mean, how can you not have an ancient D-Day beach landing without some fiery balls of justice coming down and trying to... Oof. Oof. Trying to hit these... Oh! Oh! This ship's already pretty banged up. Look at that. So, yeah, there they come. They're going to jump ashore. Look at the sun beaming down. This is beautiful, beautiful lighting, beautiful game. And you can see the Spartans in the back there. They're ready. They're like, all right, bring it. Bring it. Outnumbered by a ton. There goes more artillery coming in. I mean, this is just like shooting fish in a barrel. The amount of shooting ships in a barrel, am I right? Uh, but the ships also have artillery as well so they're kind of just you know peppering down the defenses as we speak and there's just fireballs everywhere and this is what i'm talking about this is some epic gameplay action right here and we already have some infantry battling it out now of course the uh, persians sending in their weak troops first letting them try to soak up some ammo i assume we got more deadly troops coming in some spears going in the center destroying this market how dare they uh, but they're clashing with the Spartans, and we got more fiery balls of justice coming down. Look at this. Oh! Oh! Destroys the ship. Now, sure, they dropped off the troops, but hey, that ship ain't going back home to Persia. Here comes another volley coming in. They are trying to soften up our back lines. Oh, my God. Oh! That just killed the entire unit. Now, that's what I'm talking about. You guys see that? That was insane. Some more ships coming over the over this way. I really like this angle of the battle over here um, because um, it just looks awesome. Like you get a perfect view of the water, the troops defending, the artillery, and the archers up here. So this view right here, look at that. Look at that. That's awesome. I wish there was more maps like this. It, it really is a shame. I know I bring this up every time. Oh, hold on. Let's wait for this volley. Oh, my God. Almost destroyed this unit here. Um, I really hate that they're getting rid of naval battles from Total War. It really is a shame. I don't know why they do that, but... Oh, another good volley. Just nearly hitting it. The archers are getting some great flanking fire. Look at that. This is D-Day right here. This is D-Day. Nice little charge into the Spartan lines. So we got some Spartan hoplites that look way cooler, the Wrath of Sparta DLC. I don't know why they they do that. Why don't you just make the Spartans look like that without the Wrath of Sparta DLC? Like, why can't default Sparta look like that? With more shots kind of missing there. Just get a little bird's eye view of this action. I mean, look how chaotic this is. More and more ships are coming in. And they're trying to jump, jump, uh, jump, jump off. They're trying to drop off some more troops as they continue to take on these hoplites, which is going to be quite the struggle. Hoplites. I mean, we all know Sparta is known for their defensive units, and they are quite hard to kill. There we go. More fiery balls of justice coming from both sides. Ooh. Ooh, look at that. It's just raining down fiery balls, man. This is what I'm talking about. It's a great battle. Look at all these ships closing in. This is so much. This is amazing. More shots coming into these uh, these ships. Let's go ahead and let's kind of slow down the camera here a little bit. I'm sure I'm moving around a little too much. We've got some uh, Persian spearmen taking on these hoplites. They're probably not going to. Oh, that helps. That helps a little bit. 
And then over on this side, look at this. More Persians coming across. The fiery ball is coming in. They're getting ready to embrace the Spartan line. Here they go. Persian spears coming to reinforce their lines. So Sparta trying to hold on for dear life. Lots of fire arrows coming in. I made sure to use fire arrows because it's very cinematic. I know it's probably more, you know, it's 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 a smarter idea to use standard shot in this situation, but come on. Come on. Fire arrows, so much more cinematic. Oh! Now the, the uh, artillery ships have had enough of this. They're going to start opening fire on the walls there. Now we got reinforcements closing in. It looks like the Persians have actually made a little bit of a push here between two the two units of Spartan lines. So I think this is my unit, actually. Is it? Yes, this is my general. No, it's not. I'm just kidding. I'm the yellow faction, right? Yeah, I'm the yellow faction. So that's not my general. My general is over here. He's sitting in reserve. So, yeah. But yeah, these royal Spartans coming in. Reinforcing. Breaking the will of the Persians, but there's plenty more where that came from. They're just never ending. And then over in the center here, the fight still going on between these uh, heroes of Sparta and Persian spearmen. And look at this little flank here. Since only one unit is attacking the two. Oh, good hit with the Artie, but they're still going to be able to flank around here and hit the rear of these Spartan spearmen. They're not going to enjoy that. <laughs> they're not great. So, oh, another good hit. And they're going to reform because they do break the spears. And we've got a pretty big blob here of the Persian forces. And you, you'll notice that the rate of fiery balls of justice has slowed down. Because I'm trying to save my ammo for when they kind of blob up a little bit more. Oof. I got another unit of uh, spears in reserve over here. The heroes of Sparta. Let's see if they could be heroes today. But this is a problem. Look at this. The Persians are just causing chaos. And this is when I was like, all right, I got to plug this gap. And I need to support the lines here with my general, just with the Royal Spartans moving in. The walls are getting attacked. They're at 36% damage. So the Persians are definitely going to be going for a breach in the wall. Oof, look at those fire arrows. Look how awesome this is. That's cool. That's a cool shot right there. Look at all those fire arrows. The fiery balls of justice. So it's getting pretty intense over here. More troops coming off the boat. Uh, now, back over this way, I think I activate my artillery pretty soon. Actually, no, I don't. No, I don't. Never mind. Uh, over here, this is good play by the Persians. They're using their projectiles to try to skirmish down. The Royal Spartans would sure enough work. And I have my reserve unit back here, which I'm going to have to move them in and destroy the market as I go. Like, screw this market! Ugh. So I'm going to get up here and reinforce this line. Artillery trying to soften up our numbers. And the Persians are going to go in for a charge, nearly getting some friendly fire. The Spartans were trying to hold. Oh! This is not how a Spartan dies. Not from a freaking artillery. Not from fire. No! Rest in peace. But there's just ships everywhere in this beach invasion. So, oh, there we go. Now I activate the fiery balls of justice once again. I see a big blob of Persians over here, and it's just ripping through their lines and crushing so many of them. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, there's a little push here of um, Persian spearmen going after some artillery, but at this point, most of my artillery was empty. And now we've got some pikemen. 
Oh, okay. Maybe we got some pikemen from Sparta. Spartan hoplite, Spartan pikemen. And we actually have a little bit of a retreat here. You see this? Now, I'm not going to retreat my general because I got to hold the line. Nobody else is going to hold it. So my royal Spartans, they make their stand. I think we're reforming our lines a little bit because the Persians... Yeah, there we go. Reform, trying to hold here. Immortal infantry. Damn immortals. Taking on my, uh, my general. Oh, that's cool. So they're trying to hold. They're trying to you know, keep this, you know, this formation intact. Over here, the center's doing well. We've got Roman reinforce, or I'm sorry, Spartan reinforcements coming in, nearly getting hit there. And this is looking a little worrisome over here. The Persians have really focused a lot of their numbers on this side, and it's starting to pay off. They're starting to chip away at these Spartan hoplites. I'm pretty much completely out of ammo with my uh, artillery. I've got my, <laughs> this is funny, I've got my African onager crew going through the gap here, about to flank the general. <laughs> this is literally going to do nothing. Like, they're, they don't even have shoes on. Oh, I guess they kind of do. I see some shoes. Brave onager crew going around the flank, trying to take out the gen. I think they do some damage, but they're all going to die. I mean, it's, it's catapult crew. What can you do? Yeah, we're holding here. They're not really pushing too much. But really, the big push is over on this side. Oh. The artillery constantly supporting. Look at this, too. The wall's about to go down. I was like, hey, ally, you might you might want to move your archers. Uh, it was, I think it was Ellington who uh, had these archers up here. One of, uh, one of our allies. But yeah, this is not good. Holy crap, look at that. Oh my god, that's cool. Woo! Whoa. This is just a really cool shot right here. Seeing the walls all knocked down. You got the, the ships. It's really awesome. Arrows coming in. They're trying to chip away at these Persians. Balance of power is still in favor of Persia. Oh! wall is at 90% now. More arrows coming in. Trying to hit the side of these Persian spearmen. Let's go ahead and slow down the camera a little bit. Oh my god, this Spartan's floating in the air. Look at him. He's going in. Oh. Is this him right here? Look at him, he's deep in enemy terror. He's got a friend over here. Come on. You've got this. Oh, dead. More artillery coming in, hitting these guys. Oh, geez, the wall is near collapse. There it is. The wall goes down along with those skirmishers. And the center is folding. And I think at this point, um, we we decide to pretty much fall everybody back. Oh my god. Hold on, I gotta... There we go. Sorry, I was, mess the, the, uh, I was messing with the, the camera. See how slow we're turning? It's just too slow. Come on. There we go. Okay, it's too fast. <laughs> But bit, yeah, basically the Persians have pushed through the first line of defense. And now I'm trying to save as many as possible. My general is sacrificing himself to hold back the Persians so the other units can can uh, retreat and prepare the inner defenses. What a, what a hero. What an absolute hero. So there they go. They fall back. Roll the Spartans. So eventually, you know, I was like, look, I'm not going to leave my hero to, or my, my general here to die, okay? So I'm going to fall him back because he bought enough time. There's still a lot of units in his, his, uh, 
his unit. <laughs> Still a lot of soldiers in his unit. Uh, back over this way, there's like a desperate makeshift defense because the Persians have just unrelentle unrelentlessly... Oh my god. Uh, they are pushing very hard without hesitation uh, through this wall. This breach in the wall. I know a lot of archers back here, they probably have some ammo. So I'm kind of holding on to their ammo, I think. Because I don't know that I'm shooting it. I don't want to waste too much ammo on spearmen here, because they've got pretty big shields and they can probably absorb a lot of the ammo, so I was trying to hold on to it. This is cool. Pretty cool right here. I've got some heroes of Sparta. They're down to 78 holding this breach. That's pretty much it. I've got a general. I've got my archers and the heroes of Sparta. And here we go. The Persians making a move. Making money moves. Immortal infantry pushing in. Now, ooh, a nice little volley there with the jabbies. The Spartans are trying to hold. Trying to hold. So a very intense fight for this opening right here in the wall. While that's going on. Oh, we are, look at this. We still have some brave, these are brave Spartans. Look at, they're fighting out here to the bitter end. Royal Spartans are even breaking, or they were wavering. One of the uh, immortal, uh, mortal infantry. And they're actually taking a lot of archer fire. See that, the archers are opening fire on them. Let's see if they fire again. Nope, they're gonna move. They're gonna probably hold their shots because it is a waste of ammo to fire in such a small unit. They keep on fighting. They keep on fighting. Now we got a general moving up. Got another swordsman unit uh, moving up. Uh, but yeah, this looks like this is the juiciest part of the battle. And look at it, they're going in hard with these immortals. Really trying to break through the Spartan line. Some pikes moving in to support. Skirmishers coming in to hit those pikemen. Oh, and they one of the uh, towers go down. Oh, but it doesn't do any damage to the infantry, thankfully. But yeah, we've got these uh, Persian skirmishers using their um, projectiles here to try to soften up those pikemen who are in position. Look at that, they're dropping fast. Oh! They killed three men right there. Just by the flames of those things. The fiery balls of justice strike again. Here we go. They're pushing through this breach now. Pretty intense fight indeed. Over here, it's pretty quiet. It looks like they're trying to skirmish down the, these forces a little bit. There still is a big push over on this side though. Causing some, uh, some chaos in the breach. Shots coming in, hitting the Royal Sport, uh, Royal, Royal Spartans, the Royal Spartans, the Royal Spartans. But they keep trying to hold. And look at the, look at their formation here. It's like completely, ooh, it's getting shot down. But it's completely just like spread out because it's been getting hit by artillery and projectiles and 
is poor Spartans, but they keep holding. They stand their ground. And the uh, Persians still have a ton of troops. Now, to be fair, a lot of these troops are archers. And a lot of the ships over here are artillery ships, which I'm sure they're out of ammo pretty soon. Or they're going to be out of ammo. This fight over on this breach point has been going on for quite some time. And I got my general, who was holding on the other side, now coming to this side. Trying to recapture this tower. Try to help support the cause here a little bit. Doing what I can with the troops that I have. And we got archers opening fire here. Look at that. Look at that. I love this animation. Like, it's small details like this that are, I feel like are lost in, in, the, in the new ones. Like, you see that? That's so cool. That's so cool. Maybe they're not lost in the new ones. Maybe I just haven't played the new ones enough. What in the world? Look at this guy. Look at this guy. There he goes. He's like on the wall. He's like in the wall. Uh, but that was it for that volley. That was the last volley there. They are now out of ammo. It's so cool watching them like take cover, open fire. That was awesome. Whoa, did you see all those arrows? Coming in, going after these pikemen. Oh god, they need to move the pikemen. There they go. Yeah, get the hell out of there. Look at all that fell. Oh jeez. That's gruesome. Oh, that's pretty cool. That shot right there. All the fireballs coming in. Oh my god, these these pikes have lost almost 60 men. Now the Persians are pushing in. They are pushing. Now I'm sending in my archers. I've got my mercenary, mercenary Christian archers coming in to try to support hold this line. Because it is a very weak line after so much artillery and bombardment and archer fire. Same thing over here. I got my heroes of Sparta. The pikes, though, are doing a great job. My general, unfortunately, did not take this tower because the unit that was holding this very far flank broke. And now I'm having to use my general to hold this flank here. My general just trying to maintain this line. The archers in the back, unfortunately, getting focused down. And they break uh, from the battlefield. But the good news is, hey, they're using their ammo. Instead of killing infantry, they're killing archers, which, uh, you know, is better than the other. Because... You know, you don't want the elite Spartan infantry dying from arrows. And sure enough, the pikes are falling back. Pikes are falling back, reforming. Here comes a little charge here by the uh, immortal infantry against the heroes of Sparta. Royal Spartans pushing in. Nice little stand right here, the Royal Spartans against this immortal infantry from the general. Pretty epic. And you can just look back over here, the absolute carnage. You can see most of the ships gone now. I love how they just leave. They're like, all right, see ya. Oh my God, these ships sank. How did these ships sink? From artillery? That's crazy. But yeah, the Persians still have a lot. We've got a decent amount. The balance of power is still in favor of the Persians. We gotta just keep killing them if any chance of winning this battle. Then we got the uh, Spartan pikemen, pikemen coming in to reinforce this line where my general is. But the the uh, archers are still opening fire over here, trying to use up every single shot and before they uh, have to charge in. But things are looking pretty good uh, overall. We do occasionally get these like Persian 
uh, ballista crew that just keeps sneaking. I think what happens is they break. And then, yeah, the ballista crew just... Uh, they somehow get behind, they get behind our lines where we have to like chase them around. But they're getting hit hard from the arrows. Pretty awesome. So one of these ships still have shots? Are you kidding me? Which one is this? Is it this one? Yeah, this one's still firing. You can see the artillery crew, yeah, they're jumping off the ships now. They're, they're using every single man they can get to try to win here. The good news is that we completely, pretty much killed their main infantry. There goes another shot. Uh, but now they've got their general, which is fairly depleted. Ooh, another... Oh, God, here we go. How do they still have ammo? But, yeah, they've got the general here with some sword, uh, spearmen. But the rest is just archers and, art, like, crew, like, artillery crew. So it's not that big of a deal. It looks like a scary force, but it's not too bad. They pretty much won over on this flank. They've got archers and a general. My general is now fully fighting. Trying to hold this line. The pikes are going for the flanking maneuver. But by doing that, their backs are turned to some Persian immortal infantry. It's a tragic sight. And that's causing them to waver. And honestly, if they fall, there's really nothing holding this flank. And the Persians could easily break through. There they go. They're breaking. They are breaking. And this is like the last biggest force of uh, the Persians. Of course, they still have this side, but it's not nearly as big. And unfortunately, my general is standing alone here. I'm rushing over some heroes of Sparta to help hold the line and protect the flank of my general. So we're, we're holding that line. Then we have the immortal general coming around. And now we have one of the generals, of Sp the Spartan generals, trying to rush over there and reinforce that line. The immortal general is uh, pushing to face the Spartan general in the street here. There we go, about to clash. Go! Oh! Right over their heads, they were going for the archers. Awesome. But unfortunately, my general is... Uh, well, it looked like he was surrounded there, but there was just one guy pushed up. But yeah, my general's running out, of, uh, running out of men. They can't hold for much longer. Here comes another uh, assassinated, a.k.a. Persian general pushing up. And the fighting is going quite well over here. You can see one of the generals are breaking. The arrow towers are active. And the fight for the center is oof, underway. I can't believe they still have ammo. That's crazy. But I'm pretty sure the Spartan, even though they're lightly uh, numbered here, should still be able to uh, beat the, uh, the Persians here. Now, unfortunately, this is where my general gets surrounded. But, it, well, compared to their numbers, they're not that outnumbered. And they are Spartans. They should be able to hold here for, for a while. I just didn't want to lose this general because he was literally, like, everywhere on the battlefield. And, like, sacrificing himself to hold key points to let other people retreat. It was crazy. But, yeah, the, uh, the general is still trying to hold here. And... <laughs> they're trying to cap. I don't think they're actually going to really cap there, but we got the mercenary slingers going after those guys. The general is victorious over here against the uh, assassin in general, the Persian general. And now my Spartan force is still trying to hold these guys back. And we are completely victorious over on this side. The balance of power is in our favor, and all we got to do is take care of the rest. There we go. I think, unfortunately, at this point, my general does die here. So it was a really tragic end. He pretty much saw the victory. He saw his men win. 
but he doesn't survive what's left of the battle and the uh, Spartan general breaks. And there you go, guys. Big old chain route as the uh, the Persians don't have enough to push in, enough morale. They've taken too many losses, and the Spartans stand against such an attack. It was a really cool battle, really fun, especially the beginning. I really enjoyed all the uh, bombardment. I did enjoy the wall battle as well, just like a fallback position. It was really cool, and uh, hopefully you guys liked it. So let's end the replay and look at the results here. And you can see all these broken armies. Now, first thing I want to mention is that all of my allies brought 1,440 men. Like, three armies did. That's amazing. Like, what are the chances of that? It's crazy. I guess it's not that crazy, but it's kind of crazy. I only brought uh, 400, 840 because I had to bring the artillery. So I only had two units of infantry. It did all right. The archers did okay. They could have done better. Uh, but the artillery did pretty solid. So I didn't get that many kills. Uh, but yeah, these are the African onagers that had a glitch in the game. Really fun. Uh, so shout out to Charlie, Poopy Man, Lord Ellington, Unclutch, Armored, Buds, and Dave. Thank you guys so much for um, playing in this little for fun scenario. It was a lot of fun. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. If you didn't enjoy it, leave a dislike and let me know why. But thank you guys for uh, watching the video. And I'll see you guys next time on the battlefield.